Thanks for tuning in to channel Peace If You Can Find It. Diva speaking. Um, I'm going to leave a disclaimer that I'm getting my information from YT Video, where there are professors, educators, lecturers, teachers, historians are on there giving it away. We're learning big time, are we not? So my disclaimer is I'm going to leave where I'm getting my information from in the description below. And the title of this video uh, is Sending Criminals. Okay? It, I This is a Muslim person, but I know how to eat the meat and throw away the bones. And you should too. Don't follow the crowd. Make sure what you're listening to, what you're seeing, what you're hearing, what you're tasting, what you're touching. After you run it through your computer, that it agrees with you. And not you're just not following the crowd. Think for yourself. Learn how to do that. It has great benefits. But he has 9,500 views in one day. 1,300 likes and 149 comments. So they like it. And this is just in one day. But he's speaking of the West and foreigners, how they're disdain for immigrants now. Speaking of their crimes and how they're depleting their budget and how they won't assimilate but remain true to their own culture. Um, they're dying in the waters. Over flooding countries. Over flooding in the water. They are dying. Do you know how dark it is, the ocean is at night? If you ever been on a yacht or a ship or a cruise liner, in the wee hours of the morning, there are no lights out there unless you see the lights from Cuba. But it's black. There are no street lights. Nothing. And if, if the moon is not shining, it's just utter darkness. So they're out there in a the rowboat, leaving their torn up countries going to these places where they are not wanted, where they're mistreated brutally, violently, on the way there and while they're there, if they make it there, children too, okay? So these countries, uh, they're coming from countries that have been sanctioned and colonized, whose resources uh, they took all their resources and they have planted terrorist groups there and coups. They have paid for civil unrest to destroy them. And he stated what the U.S. and Europe is receiving is basically, no, what these um, immigrants receiving is what's due. But it doesn't compare to the resources and that which is taken from them in comparison to whatever they taken in these stores, whatever they doing, it doesn't compare to entire countries being depleted, torn apart. They have nothing sanctioned for, for decades, okay? Black and brown people are coming. The Anglo-Saxons are not rejected, okay? They have something to help these countries which bankrupt them and it's money borrowed from the West and it's IMF, um, uh, what is IMF? Hold on, I gotta get it, this is wrong, I, I had it. I wanna give it right though. It's the International Monetary Fund. And 
They'll loan you this money with impossible interest to pay. You end up paying just on the interest alone when you're trying to pay yourself back. So you're still enslaved. But in order for them to give you this money, you have to uh, accept the uh, alphabet organization. You have to accept their army bases and their money. You have to accept all this on your country. You And you have to accept the leaders that they assign there. Okay. He stated that when the U.S. go to their board, he's stating that they should have borders to regulate Europe and U.S. from coming into their lands. He didn't say completely keep them out, but regulate them, restrict their ability to enter their borders, like what they're doing over in Africa. Every day, I hear something from another channel where Europeans are going over there and just slaughtering their animals. They're marrying their children. They're adopting them. They're doing all kinds of things over there. It's so much going over there. I understand that they, they are obtaining their freedom truly, becoming decolonized. There's so many things going wrong over there, but like it is here. But it, there is a catalyst, an entity that is the cause of all their problems. They putting out fires everywhere because they are designed fires that are to just not to let them live. Africa got to wake up because they're allowing people that don't like them to make their vaccines and medicine. They are so far behind, but they're coming up. But it, it, they want Africa, but not Africans. But they're coming around. But it's so many symbols over there. So many. Oh, I get to get off of here. You took their wealth, but you don't want their people. And he said the people are coming where their wealth is at. They want to reunite with their things. Africa, boy, I tell you, you got to do something about their children that are being um, physically violated. You know? Down there. You, I don't know what you can say anymore. I just don't know. But you know what I'm talking about. So they need to do something about that. Oh my goodness. So when you see that they're calling them looters and thieves and whatever and killers. They just repeating what was done to them. In a 0.0001% percentage compared to what was done to their countries, which is why they are here. Their countries were ripped apart. Don't compare. He said, all the elements of our economy rely on subjugation, exploitation, de-industrialization, and violation of their sovereignty. Correction of their political system. They have debt and slavery and so on and so on and so on. He stated that U.S. and uh, Europe need to find other ways to survive and he said that's a you problem. He said that they are no longer that is what I'm hearing allegedly on many stations that we're citizens of a place that's not uno numo uno no more. We don't know what's going to happen. So much is going on that they're not telling us. But you better get hip to this uh, uh, independent journalism. I can recommend some stations for you. Some channels. They're really good. And they're telling you what's going down. And it doesn't look good. So I'm going to end. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, I forgot to say halfway. It's halfway because that's what counts to me. I know YouTube wants you to hit the like button, but my philosophy is if you look at it halfway or if you get to the end, then that's a like. You don't have to hit the like button. 
that's proof right there that you like it that you went halfway so i'm gonna try to do that from now on halfway ask you to hit it the like button if you want to because like i said again before it's just it takes away from the channel begging all the time to, for people to hit the like button but i don't want to end um uh, with my uh moaning so thanks for tuning in peace if you could find me